day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now we've got a Parlophone record, our 2284, a lecture from the Moral Advisor, Ronald Franco with Monty Crick at the Piano Fort. The profits from this record are being paid to Narcover College in aid of St Peter's Kitchens, and indeed it is introduced by Monty Crick, the accompanist. Here we go. Monty Crick, say your piece. Will you please remember that every shilling from Nargover means a hot meal and a bed for some destitute man or woman. Now it's my very unpleasant duty to have to introduce to you your moral advisor, who for no apparent reason is going to speak to you about some carpenter's equipment. What is it again, Mr. Franco? Vice. That was, and here is, your moral advisor. <coughs> well, Narcovians and other pub crawlers, to begin with, I want you to know that all I'm getting out of this is kudos, which is Greek for some gardens near Richmond. Now, have any of you any special problem? I'd like you to get yourself into trouble, as long as it's only yourself. It is then, as your moral advisor, that I may help. As the razor said to the soap, it's fun getting into scrapes. Oh, oh. Are you leading a straightforward, decent, and continent life? If so, you're a wet. Dream of adventure, my friend. As Ophelia said to Romeo at the third act, let not I dare not wait upon I would. Seize dame opportunity, or any other dame who's near, with both hands, and then let go, lest the long arm of the in-law should get you. A little advice to ladies. If he's going too far, start wearing cotton stockings. Cheap hose can always extinguish the flame of passion. Farman's joke. But men, listen. You don't smoke, you should. What grander than a fine masculine cough in the morning? Don't throw away your trust in the nerve-soothing effect of tobacco. You don't gamble, you should. Even if it's only a bet with a friend as to who's going to kiss the girl first. You may win by a neck. And then the thrill of putting your shirt on a horse and seeing it win with pants. It's such a change. You don't drink, you should. Let lady alcohol kiss your hands, your chin, your mouth, till you're kissed to the eyebrows, or like a prejudiced cricket umpire, blind to the wide. You don't flirt? Now listen. Uh, I'm afraid all that part of the record has been cut. But you know what I mean. The point must be sticking out a mile. I want you all to reform. If you haven't done anything wrong, you can't. Now, are there any questions? Well, uh, yes. I love joining parties, but I can't stand drinks. What shall I do? Let them stand it till you're rumbled. Uh, my fiancé doesn't know anything about life. How shall I teach her? Give her some of my part of them records. <clears throat> I've got a very deep voice, and my children laugh at me. What shall I do? Cut them off with a shilling. So it's good that they don't like anything base. May a girl ask a question? Oh, certainly, yeah. What is this thing called love? I'll be with you in a second. Well, goodbye, Narcovian. Now, you come along with me, dear. Wonderful. Hopefully you enjoyed that, viewers. Thank you, and goodbye.